Is this a good time of the year to use a bobber bass fishing? <laughs> what are you talking about, Jimmy? Using a bobber bass fishing? Come on now. Good morning, guys and girls. Good morning. We are reading from the Catch a Better Life book, which is a book that I wrote uh, over the past couple of years. Took me a long time to write it. Uh, well, all we got is the manuscript. This is the manuscript right here that I actually worked on and wrote after I wrote these on Yellow Pages. I might show you some of those here before this month's out. Uh, how I wrote it, they were, they were handwritten on Yellow Pages. I'll kind of kind of share that with you a little bit. But uh, then Chris typed them up. Chris typed them up. And, uh, and then, of course, Sherry hadn't ended up completing that job because Chris got to where she couldn't type in April of last year. But, um, and then, uh, then their editors started correcting little things, and they've got little corrections on here for me. Uh, but we'll have this book uh, available probably about March, probably about March. Uh, in January 3rd, we're looking at Psalms 27, 8, 27, 8. When you said, seek my face, this is David talking, King David, talking to God, and he said, when you said, seek my face, my heart said, your face, I will seek. Your face, I will seek. I will seek the face of God. I will look for the face of God, everything I do. Tournament fishermen tend to cover every part of their body these days with masks, gloves, long sleeves to protect themselves from the sun. It's all but impossible to recognize any of them out on the water. Because of the coronavirus, the world seems to be wearing masks all the time. Bass fishermen were way ahead of the rest of the world. They've been wearing masks for a few years now, especially the young guys, especially the young guys. You can't even hardly tell who it is. I see pictures of them in magazines. I know, who is that? Who is that masked man? My wife, Chris, my wife, Chris, went into our bank this week and said, I really feel funny <laughs> walking into a bank wearing a mask. I imagine you do, baby. I imagine you do. You know, that statement right there really kind of gets to me just a little bit because of what she said to me and what I wrote in this devotional. I really feel funny walking into a bank wearing a mask. Today, she can't walk into that bank, mask or not, but she will be able to walk into that bank again. Uh, I've got her walking every single day a little bit. Every day I tell her we're gonna walk, she says, no, 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 but she's getting better at it all the time. And pretty soon she's gonna walk and I'm just gonna stand back and say, walk over here to me, baby, instead of holding her with her belt and helping her and moving her right leg at time. She's gonna be walking back into that bank when she's doing that, whether she has to wear a mask or not, I don't know. It looks like they want us to wear a mask the rest of our life. God asks us to seek his face. He doesn't wear a mask. <laughs> we need to tell that to all the politicians. God doesn't wear a mask. What he's asking us to do is to get personal with him. He wants us believers to have a personal one-on-one -on -re one -on -one relationship with him. Think about that. Think about that. Think about what God wants from you and me. He wants us to have a personal relationship with him. The God who created the universe, the God who flung the stars into existence, that God wants to be involved in everything that I do, in everything that you do. That God wants a personal relationship with him. You know, I think about all of the famous people we've got to fish with over the years, and most of them, I don't know, most every single one of them are just great people to be friends with. Just great people to be friends with. And uh, I could throw some of those names out there and you'd say, well, I'd like to be friends with them. Can I tell you, those folks are nothing compared to the personal friendship we can have with God. We can have a friendship with God Almighty. If your relationship with God is long distance, not personal, ask him to come into your heart and make him the Lord of your life. You know what that last sentence is right there? That's the gospel. That's the gospel right there. In order to get saved, you repent of your sins. You ask God to come into your heart and save you, forgive you of those sins, and you make him Lord of your life. That's just how simple it is to be saved. That's how simple it is to start a personal relationship 
with the God that created it all, with the God that spoke the fish into existence, with the God that created the water and the woods and the land and so much stuff that us people that love the outdoors love, created the deer, the birds, the eagles, the turkeys, the ducks, everything. That's the God that wants to have a personal relationship with you. That's the God that wants to be with you when you're on your highest mountaintop and shouting to the world because you're so happy. That's the God that wants to be with you in the darkest, deepest valley that you'll ever go through in your life. And can I tell you, if you live long enough, you're gonna go through some of those valleys. But God promises he'll be there every single minute of all of those times. Once you make him Lord of your life, he puts his Holy Spirit in you. He couldn't leave you if he wanted to. You can leave him. Many of us have, but he doesn't leave you. Never does. Here's our tip for today, and it's a good one. We was talking about bobbers and bass fishing. And you're thinking, Jimmy, what in the world are you talking about? You want to put a shiner under that bobber? Yeah, that's a good deal. Put a shiner under that bobber. How about a crawfish under that bobber? Yeah, that's a good deal too. But that's not what we're talking about at all. Small hair jigs, that's right. Small hair jigs fished under a bobber are great in clear, cold water. A lot of places they call that a floating fly. If it's just a little fly under the water and they throw it out and get out and just drift along in the middle of the lake. But it is a great way to catch fish this time of the year. And let me tell you, the, the bass suspend. Oh, there's bass schooling right out there. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I gotta get a rod and make a throw. Guys and girls, have you a great one out there today? Oh my goodness, those are good ones. And remember, I sure do love you. The birds are on them. You see the birds on them out there? See the birds? The birds are on those fish schooling right there. You see that? You see that? I love you, and I love fishing. Have a great one.